Why calamity keeps coming? What is your... Yes. Yeah, first of all, we have to know that uh, everything is under the control of Elohim. Everything what is running the world. So, calamities are a sign for the people to change their, their ways, to come back to the truth. Okay. Unfortunately, this is not what they want to do. So, Elohim is sending more and more calamity to get the attention of the people. Uh -huh. This is how it was in Egypt. If you remember the ten plagues in Egypt. Yeah. So it is today. It's the same. And it will go increasing until the time the world will see that it can do nothing. So this is actually... You see, because the prophet spoke about that. The prophet said... <coughs> but Jehovah spoke by the mouth of the prophet and said, I will punish the whole world for their wickedness. So wickedness is a source of all trouble. In particular, is idolatry. Idolatry brings disaster. And if you look really in the countries like uh, South America, Asia, where you have very, very strong disaster, all these countries are in idolatry. So, the consequence of idolatry is curse. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Curse. Yes, curse. Curse, because idolatry is a replacement of the power of Elohim by the idols. All the statues who have no feet, they cannot walk. Who have nose, they cannot smell. Who have ear, cannot hear. Mm. And they cannot help. So this is the way how it is. And if we observe all these countries who are under the control of the Roman Catholic Church, in particular, in particular, the other one, the other country will be also finished. But in particular, these countries, you will see that there is a so-called, so-called natural catastrophe. And it comes because of the punishment. Okay. Yeah. We have in Egypt, the pressure we have in Egypt, on the chin of Israel. It is the same today. Instead of it to be a blessing for the people, it becomes a curse. If you abuse the children of, of Elohim, you People who abuse the chin of Elohim put themselves in the curse. <coughs> Unfortunately, they trust more the God of this world and think that the materialism, the money, will uh, is a proof of their success and well-being. Like countries in Europe, in the US, who think that uh, because they have so much money that they can do everything. And they can be the, the, the world. Is that true? No, it's not true. The money is not a proof of being blessed by Elohim. It's not a proof. Because money can be is accessible for everyone. You can have it through hard work, you can have it by making business, you can have it by inheritance. Is that the proof that you are with Elohim? No, it's not the proof. It's not the proof. I know that uh, some will tell you, yes, but Abraham was very rich, and but we don't live the same time. Yeah. Now, yeah. Since, uh, since Yeshua came, we are working with the inner man. The inner man. Inner man. The inner man. Okay. The spiritual man. And not the carnal man. The carnal man is our problem today. So if we want to try to be like Abraham, it will not work. Because Abraham didn't do anything to get what he had. It was a blessing. He didn't do anything. But now we speak about redemption. Redemption of our soul. So this redemption does not work with money. It is written in the Psalm. Yeah. We cannot buy our redemption. Mm -hmm. Okay?